Yo guys and welcome to Man Like Morrison and today is going to be Man Like Morrison speaks kind of thing where I'm speaking and I'm doing the talking and you guys doing the listening and I'm being all serious about things. Before I went on my little break from YouTube, uh, one of the ideas that I started to work on was on a video called Steal In Content, which is what this video is obviously called. This is what it is. This was the idea that I wanted to start doing. So if you follow my Facebook page you will have seen that I did a really long post about all of this stuff and you can check that down here or you can check the page down there and you can find it. I can't be bothered to find the post now. But it was all about how people are able now to steal content from YouTube that creators have made and then whack it on their Facebook profiles or YouTube profiles and basically just take the credit for themselves. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the video will probably look something a little bit like this. This is definitely me when I do the thing which is described in the video that somebody else has made. Remember to give me money. And it's been really getting to me to see that this has been happening all over Facebook recently. Uh, the notable page is SoFlo Antonio. Uh, some of you may know him, some of you may not. You're lucky if you don't. Basically, and I'm really careful about specifically, you know, going against individuals, but I think that this is really outrageous what is happening. He just downloads a video from YouTube, whacks a little title on the top, shoves a load of emojis in there, puts himself at the start saying something like, this is me when I do this thing, and then takes all the money, takes all the credit for himself. Not really fair, gonna be honest. But it seems that Facebook is really encouraging this sort of behaviour to happen. They don't have very good content ID settings, so it's not easy to see when something is stolen. And there's actually no way to claim copyright on a video unless you're claiming copyright for yourself. So if I see that somebody else has had their video stolen, I can't report that. I can't say that that is a copyrighted video and they shouldn't be doing it. A video I saw last week, it was, went pretty viral on Facebook. It was by a guy called Candice Gattis, I think. He'd been on Britain's Got Talent a little while back. And the whole point is he's a bit of a rubbish comedian and he'd done a bit of a stupid video about how to open a gate. And I looked at it on um, Facebook and it's been all over Facebook. Loads of different people have uploaded it. And I saw that the version on Facebook has 1.6 million views. I went and looked for this video and I looked for it on the guy's a personal YouTube channel and he only had 400,000 views on it. YouTube does not get a lot of money, stat. YouTubers literally invest their whole life into this channel and have to work so hard on making sure that it's up to date, making sure that it's consistent, making sure that the content is good or there's no payday for them, right? So whether or not you say that this guy had made good content, it was stupid, people found it funny. He probably made 10% from that video of what he should have made if everyone who'd watched it on Facebook then had gone and watched it on his YouTube channel. That's terrible. Like, I don't really like to go on too much about money. I can't go on about money from YouTube. I've made about eight quid on my channel so far. So I'm not gonna come to you and say, I'm a big shot and I understand the finances of YouTube intricately. But what I can say is that as a creator, my aim is to get to a point where I can make money from this stuff, you know? And you will hear it said that it is hard to do that. It's totally true, it is hard to do that. But what's making it harder now is that nobody is respecting that people create stuff to make money. People are just stealing things. Allow me to give you a little illustration of what this is basically like. Oh, hey man, how you doing? Yeah, no, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Actually, I've just finished this really good book. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, it's called The Brass Key by Richard Poole. Oh. That's pretty old. Wait, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just, I'm just writing my name on the front so that people think that I've written it, but you haven't written it. It's literally that. It is literally selling somebody else's content. And people think that it's acceptable because everyone is doing it. Just the other week, I challenged a Facebook page about this. They put up somebody else's content. The content was of people getting shot in Ireland. So I also attacked that and I said, I don't think this is an acceptable thing to be putting on Facebook, to be sponsoring and to be trying to go viral. Their response to me, we're running a business here, Alex. Running a business. Okay, does that make it acceptable to do things which are unacceptable? Okay, am I able to just walk outside and mug people and then when they tell me that actually that's against the law, I can justify it by saying, I'm just running a business. There's a man outside, you can see he's looking straight at me. All oh, my days. Uh, uh. <laughs> he's like, 
What was that kid doing? Running a business does not justify you to do things which are illegal. I'm sorry. I mean, legality is a really hard thing to look at because copyright law is so messed up. And I know this because I've been trying so hard to create content which is consistent with copyright law. I've done a lot of reading about it. And this is a good time to shout out. Shout out to my man DJ Grumble who gave me permission to use his music in these videos and it's the stuff you hear in the background. Andrew Applepie as well. Check him out below. Uh, he gives me permission as well and I use him in some of it. And it's really good of them. So yeah, thanks guys. So. What I'm not saying is that we should shoot down anybody who ever breaks these copyright laws, okay? Because it's easy to do. I'm sure that in my videos at some point I probably have done. I really don't know. I try as hard as I can not to, but you just don't know. It's not clear. I'm not a lawyer. What I am saying, however, is that it is so clear that these pages which do this on Facebook are aware of what they're doing. They know it's wrong, but they know that nobody's going to stop them. Here's what I try and do, and it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I do try. If you see a video and you think that it's somebody else's content, post a comment on the video. Perhaps drop a link in the comments to say, you know, this is how you can watch this on YouTube, and then the creator actually gets paid through advertisements for you watching it. Also, do what you can to notify the person who has made the content and tell them, you know, actually somebody is putting this up, maybe link it to them and just say, you may have given them permission, I don't know. But if you haven't, they're doing this and you have the power to stop it, but we don't. But mainly, don't get dragged into this idea that stealing other people's stuff is okay just because it's on the internet. It's really not. I work so hard to create good content and I don't work half as hard as some of the other people who get their stuff ripped off. Not even a quarter as hard. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I probably got a little bit heated at points, a little bit ranty, but it is something that I do feel really strongly about. And I feel like we should all feel quite strongly about it. As a community, we should be saying that this is not acceptable. To finish off, I want to shout out one thing which I do have going. Um, I, I want to be you know, careful about how I advertise money giving methody stuff. But I do have a Patreon page, which is always linked on like the top line of the description. The way Patreon works is basically you can sign up with me to give a small amount a month just to help me create more content. When I first created it, I thought it, was, it seemed really bad uh, that I was doing this. But in reality, to keep creating content costs money. To upgrade equipment costs money. Time is money. So if you like what I do and want to support me, then that is a way that you can do that. If you like what I do and don't want to support me, that's also fine. Thank you so much for watching my content anyway. It really does mean a lot. I hope I haven't come across like I'm begging for money there. I'm not. I, I don't need your money, but if you want to support me, the option is down there. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Unless you're watching it on SoFlo Antonio's Facebook page, then no thank you. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another video, hopefully. Peace out, hombres.